Have you seen my kids? No, not yet, but um, I'm sure they're fine. Have you ever lived in a foster home? No. Then how can you say my kids are fine? I, I, I can't. They should be with me. I should be with them. That's what we're trying to make happen here. And that's supposed to make me sleep better? Yes. It won't. Look, um, I'm told you had a quite a few visitors to your apartment. So? So were any of these men the fathers of Teresa, Carmine, or Teofilio, your other children? Hey, wait a minute. How can I get in contact with them? You ain't got to talk to them. They ain't got nothing to do with Look, this. Look, Olivia. There's going to be some allegation of child abuse hurled at you. They're going to call you unstable and unfit mother. If there's any information about one of these guys shouting out or hurting any one of your children, that can go to a shift in the light or blame away from you. Who I have in my apartment is my business, and that goes double it's, for It's them. not just your business anymore. When a helpless, disabled child nearly starves to death in the same apartment where you have been doing a lot of entertaining in the few months since you moved there. One ain't got nothing to do with the other. I did some asking around the neighborhood. People say they heard a lot of shouting. The cops tell me they've been over to your place a couple of times to break up fights. It's not always the same guy's name on the complaints, Olivia. What's going on? My life. That's what's going on. Not a good enough answer. My case is about why my daughter's sick. It's not about my boyfriend. Wrong, Olivia. Wrong. This case is about you. And if the jury is convinced that you in any way were responsible for Sylvia's suffering because of how you lived or who you slept with or how you decided to blow your nose that morning, you're going to be found guilty. And you're going to go away. Don't kid yourself on this. This case is not about an accident. This case is about you. I'd never guess you're a lawyer, much less a legal aid. <laughs> because of my clothes? Because of your attitude. You act much more like a prosecutor. Is that good? It depends. I mean, my father was a lawyer, my mother was a lawyer. It's a family business. You wanted to do something else? No. I, I just don't date lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you call this a date? No, no, no. A, a date? A date is when you come, you pick me up, you bring me flowers, and we don't run back to work. So what's this? Foreplay? We're late. Okay. Oh, where's your partner? You're supposed to be arranged together. Are you finished with your conversation, counselor? Unless you make some kind of a deal. Or should I wait? I apologize to the court and, and to the people. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the rights and charges without the rights there under? I do. The people? 30,000 bail, Your Honor. 30,000? Mr. Gomez, you will refrain from outbursting in my courtroom. Counselor? Uh, the defendant doesn't have a record, Your Honor. The defendant was ID'd in a lineup. He was in possession of a gun. No, I, I didn't have a gun. The defendant is a flight risk. The defendant has been accepted at Queens College. In what program? Liberal arts. Oh, speech therapy. Speech therapy. With all due respect, Your Honor, this is a Class B felony. Your Honor, the defendant... Bail is set at $30,000. Your Honor, may I approach the bench, please? No. How do you plead? I would like to discuss the possibility of a plea bargain with the people. You've already taken up enough of this court's time. Counselor, how do you plead? Not guilty. Can the defendant make bail? Do I look like Donald Trump? Your Honor, the defendant... And the defendant may Didn't have a weapon. I will hold you in contempt of court. Has no record. The defendant is remanded to right. $30,000 such is time an as bail. he can make bail or is called before the grand jury. It is not probably one if he didn't have the gun. Okay, thanks. Realtor giving you a hard time? Oh, no, 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 no. He's a, he's a busy guy. He had to work me into his schedule. Uh-huh. Man on the, uh, on the, like, north side of the house, it's got an oak tree. Mm -hmm. Either red oak or Spanish oak, see? It's got to be one or the other. And in the front, along the porch, I think it's a rhododendron. You come up, we'll have a barbecue. Hmm. Did Mr. Trong's mother, father, or sister try to kill the American soldiers? 
Mr. Truong says no. They were not North Vietnamese soldiers. They were not Viet Cong. They were not, he says, partisans. They were not involved. Perhaps they were not. Given the circumstances at that time, in that part of the world, it was not unusual, not irrational, not criminal to assume they were under attack. And it was not criminal to assume the attackers were in the village from which the gunfire apparently was coming. Is what happened to Mr. Chung's family a tragedy? Yes. Are similar tragedies occurring today? Yes. But there is no evidence that my client or his men raped, looted, or in any other way violated the rules of war. My client's response and the response of his men was a military response. He and they acted in what they believed to be self-defense. 